Lo, hi, Nuri. Hi, teacher. Good to see you again. Good to see you too. You look different. Um, maybe my hair. <laughs> yes, maybe you color your hair. <laughs> hmm? Maybe you colored your hair. No. No. But your hair looks a little darker. <laughs> it looks Dark. good. Oh, thank you. All right, all right. Hello, Doris. Hey, Miguel Franco, you're back. Hey, teacher, how are you? I'm good, Doris, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. Doris, your second name is Doris Jaime? Jaime, exactly. Jaime, okay, I never heard that yeah. name. I never heard that name before. Okay. Is there a story to that name? No. In in the novel, what's the meaning? Uh, novela, novel or no? no? Novela or libro? No, no, novela. Soap opera. Okay, and my mom see a soap soap opera in. For this reason, <laughs> I have this name. Okay, but it's nice. I mean, it's different. I like I like names that are different. Thank you. <laughs> okay, we have Oscar, Marvin, Lewis. Let's wait for my people. How was your weekend? If you are a Real Madrid and Alianza fan, I may imagine you're happy. <laughs> I don't like soccer, teacher. Oh, you don't? No. Man, this weekend, the two teams I really hate the most won the championship. I really hate Real Madrid and Alianza. And, <laughs> and the two won. <laughs> and yesterday, I was going to go. I had my ticket for the stadium. But I was very, very sick yesterday. So it's, I was I was going for Aguila. So good thing I didn't go. Yeah. All right. Hey, Lewis, how are you? Maybe you have bad audio, Lewis. Hello, Marvin, are you there? Hello, no. teacher. Hello. How are you? Marvin, do you have a camera or a picture? Yeah, yeah, I have a camera. Okay, if you can please turn on your camera. Oh, there you go. Thank you, Marvin. Yeah. And you, there, Doris, if you have a camera also? Because Insafor requests students to have a camera, so. <laughs> How was is, how is your weekend? Good? Good. What did you do? Did you do anything <laughs> special or different? No. Working, teacher. You worked? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, Oscar. Hey, teacher. How are you? Oscar, you are a Real Madrid fan, right? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, no. No. Alian no. Alianza? Um, Alianza, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. No, me too. I, I was telling the class that the two teams I really hate, <laughs> they won Alianza. yesterday. Yes. They are the most hated. <laughs> the most followers, too. <laughs> yeah. I really hate Alianza. Alianza but... Uh, Two times in my life, two times in my life, they hit me. Man golpeado, the, 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 the stupid idiots from the inches. Oh. One time, I really didn't know why. I didn't know that there was a... Um, I was in the supermarket by the stadium because I live, I live near the stadium. I didn't know there was a game and when I was going back to my car, like eight, eight came at me. 
hey, like, hey, give me some money now. No. Me asaltaron right there in the parking lot. Mm-hmm. And, uh, in the, you know, the Super Selectos by Estadio Cusatlan? Mm-hmm. Yes. Ah, yeah. There's, um, mm-hmm. there's uh, Mr. Donut and mm-hmm. a, a little mall. Yeah, there's a little mall. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, and then one time after the stadium, they just started hitting everybody. So uh, there's, La mayoría de esos ya están presos, creo. So. I hope. I hope so. I know, you know, and, and you know, it's, it's stupid because every time Alianza plays like a normal game, a normal game in the stadium, in Cuscatlán Stadium, the super selectos, <laughs> they cover like where the um, chocolate, you know, you know, when you go to pay, that there's always candy in the side, like chocolates or chips. Lo, lo tapan. And I said, excuse me, ¿y si quiero un Hershey? No, no, we can't. Vender eso hoy. Why? Es que juega Alianza. Said lo juega y todo. They t- <laughs> yes, they were telling me that. Every, every time Alianza plays, like, they put double security and they check them because they steal the liquor, everything. The supermarket, yes, in the supermarket. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh man, yeah. All right. So, anything has anything new happened in your life since two months ago? I didn't practice English. <laughs> yes, anything new? I didn't, or I haven't practiced English. <laughs> I haven't. Mm-hmm. It, it was very, very, I don't know why the, the, this uh, first, first class yes. mm-hmm. started so late. Yeah, me too. I, I was like, what happened? Yes. <clears throat> excuse me. Si, si toso ahorita, excuse me. Okay, porque <clears throat> I, my throat. Okay. Um, this weekend, the whole weekend, I watched Stranger Things. Me too. Yeah. Are you happy or disappointed? Mm. No. I felt uh, bored. Yeah, me too. I tell my wife because Stranger mm-hmm. Things is an excellent show. Yeah. And we waited almost one year for the new Oh yeah, and I was I was expecting more, mm-hmm. but it was eso sí era más dark. <laughs> it was very it was more scary than comedy now. But um yeah, I was expecting a little more this time. <laughs> yes. Hello, Mirna Barahona, are you there? Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, and you? Very well, thank you. All right, happy cool. to start classes today. Yeah, yes, welcome. Yes, yes. Good, welcome. Uh, Mila, do you have a camera? Yes, but it's, it's a little dark. It's okay, but we want to see your beautiful face. Okay. <laughs> Insa for, it's, thank you. Insa for points to see your beautiful face. Okay, teacher. All right, cool. Thank you. It is dark. Where are you? Okay. <laughs> are you in a bunker? Huh? What? Are you in a bunker or something? Because it looks no. very dark. No. <laughs> like an underground call center. Yes. Okay, let's start. Okay, so welcome everybody. Good for you to be back. I don't know Marvin. Hello, Marvin. Uh, I think you are on mute, Marvin. Your mic. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Hello. Hi, can can you tell us a little bit about yourself, Marvin? Okay. Uh, My name is Marvin. I live in Candelaria City in Santa Ana. I am... 40 years old, 
I work uh, in a center of development of children's. Oh, uh, good. Yeah. Um, since for 14 years. For 14 years. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you know when to use since and for? Do you know when to use the difference? Oh. Since, when you say since, is when you started. Okay. Yes, so I've been working in, in there since 2008. Yes. Since 2008. Okay, okay, I got it. If you use since, when you use for, is the amount. I've been working there for 14 years. Thank you, teacher. No, you're welcome. No, it's okay. I mean, some people don't don't know that. Yeah. yeah. That way they forget. But it is good to know. Yeah. Yeah. ¿Cuál es el otro? Sense for. Yeah. There's another one, no? Sense for. Wait. If I remember, I will tell you. Okay. Okay, let me open, let me open the, do, 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 the platform. Give me one second, we'll open it. Recording in progress. Hmm. Luis, you're on your laptop and on your cell phone. Yes, teacher, sorry because what happened, Luis? In one, in one, in one window, I saw you walking, and in the other one, you're sitting down. Oh, really? In real time. No, I don't know what happened because yes, I have a two. I, I, didn't, there... I, I didn't use a telephone and the laptop too. No, but what I'm saying is, in one, in one laptop, you're walking, and in the other one, you're sitting down. Oh, really? So it's like my, my, my par parallel, <laughs> par parallel uniform, uh, universe yeah, or something. Yeah, no, sorry. Mm. Okay, let me share my, my screen with you. Let me see. Okay, do, do you see this? Yes. Yes. It says, by the end of this lesson, participants will be able to use and practice infinitive and gerund phrases. Just a quick reminder, do you remember what is an infinitive and gerund? Yes. An infinitive is a verb that used to in a simple form, I think. Base form. Base form, see. Sorry, base form and gerunds with uh, an ing form. ing form. So, for example, if I say I like to go, what is the is that infinitive or gerund? Infinitive. Infinitive. I like to go to the beach. What would it be the gerund? I like going. I like going to the beach. Okay, very important here. So there's a different. There's two things. Number one, the ing. Like Oscar says, the ing, go, going. And then number two is two. We only use two in infinitive. I like to go to the beach. But some people say, I like to going to the beach. No, no two. I like going to the beach. All right, so let's see the video.
Welcome to Advanced Module 2. In our first topic, we'll go over infinitive and gerund phrases. We have studied this before, but don't worry, we'll explain it again so you feel comfortable with it. It plus be plus adjective or noun plus infinitive phrase is often used to comment on behavior. These sentences can also be restated with gerund phrases. It's rude to ignore your conversation partner. It's a good idea to try out different topics. Ignoring your conversation partner is rude. Trying out different topics is a good idea. The word considered may also follow be in this kind of sentence. It's considered impolite to interrupt people. Interrupting people is considered impolite. These sentences can also include the phrase for plus person or pronoun. It's customary for the complimentary to say nice things about others. Saying nice things about others is customary for the complimenter. We will begin our explanation by reminding you that gerunds and infinitives are both verbals. In other words, verbals are words formed from a verb but functioning as a different part of a speech, usually a noun. Gerunds are formed adding an ing ending and infinitives are composed of two plus a verb. In the structure just presented above, it becomes the subject of a sentence in the infinitive phrase and ignoring, trying out, interrupting and saying are gerunds acting as subjects as well. Notice there's no changing meaning. Look at the following chart. Read it and decide whether they are using infinitive or gerund phrases. So, all right, let's do a little practice. It's Ruth too. It's bad. It's not a good idea to. Okay, Nuri, do you have children? You have two, correct? Yes, teacher, I have. You have a boy and a girl, correct? Two boys and two girls. What do you, how old is your boy? My older boys. 30 years old. Your older boy, he's 30. Yeah. Three, three zero. Yeah, 30. Wow. You don't look like you have a, a, a son that is 30 years old. <laughs> Thank you. I, I imagine you were going to say he's 10. <laughs> <laughs> no. Or something. Okay. My youngest, my youngest girl uh, mm -hmm. have, have 15. 15. She she doesn't have, she is 15. Uh, she's 15. <laughs> Good. Okay, do you remember, okay, when you give your son advice about women, you give your son advice about women, correct? Yeah. What do you tell him? Let me give you an example. Son, it is unpolite to tell a to ask a woman her age. Unpolite. Do you know what is unpolite? Yes, yes. Or son, it is rude to ask a woman her age. Or son, it's not correct to ask a woman for her age. What, what, okay, this is an example for her age, but like what, what advice do you give your son about, about women? About with me, women, okay. Uh, mm, uh, please uh, don't. No, but use an infinitive. Remember, we have to use an infinitive. Infinite, okay. Please, please don't. Don't to play with the girls. No, but but you remember it's an advice. When you say please, you're not asking, you're not giving an advice. Uh-huh. So son is not good to play with women. Uh-huh. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. So I have to say song. I mean, if you want, I mean you can say, remember, it's not good to play with women. Give like a little excuse and then introduce the um, 
the infinitive. Okay. A song. Uh, remember, you have um, to help to help to your wife. Very good. Son, you have to help your wife. Very good. All right. Okay. <laughs> Doris, are you married? Not teacher. Do you have a boyfriend? Yes. All right, good. Oscar, can you give Doris an advice using an infinitive about boyfriends? Okay. Uh, Doris, um, it's not good to fight with your boyfriend. Good. It's not good to fight with your boyfriend, okay? Okay, Doris? Okay. So always say yes to your boyfriend, okay? <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Okay, or Doris, it's not good to take your boyfriend out shopping for, for, when, for you. That's an advice from a man. Bueno, ¿cuánto tienen de andar? One year. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 creo que, yeah, yeah, eso. Okay, <laughs> Doris, don't take your, your, your boyfriend shopping for shoes. Mm. Doris, do you understand? This, this okay, do, no. okay, but do you understand what we're doing? We're doing infinitive and Jared. Well, right now only infinitive. So mm -hmm. Oscar told you, Doris, don't, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, it's, it's not good to fight. Oh yeah, it's not good to fight. Actually, in this case, Oscar, it's argue. Argue. Argue because fight is more physically. It's more physically, okay. So... Uh, yes. It's not good to our, oh yeah, or to fight. <laughs> uh, yes. I was thinking, I, I was thinking in a girl that uh, uh, hit the, the boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, and Johnny Depp and, and... Uh, something like that. Ella estaba leyendo algo que era muy cierto de eso de Johnny Depp y, y, y uh, Amber. Que Estados Unidos, que es un país súper, súper avanzado y mente abierta en eso. Y decían que esta mujer Amber tuvo que presentar un audio para demandar a Johnny Depp de abuso. Y él tuvo que presentar 89 audios para comprobar que estaba siendo abusado. O sea, aún no hay igualdad. Ya, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and it's true. Okay, so in this case, Doris, it's not good to argue and fight with your boyfriend. I think we lost Ivania. Okay, um, can you tell that to Mirna? Mirna, are you married? No, teacher. Do you have a I boyfriend? Don't want, I don't want. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. But do you have a boyfriend? No. Okay, so you're a single woman. Okay, good. Yes. Good. Miguel Franco, can you give Mirna an advice about single women? Okay. Mirna, is good idea to think in the future to get to someone to live with a uh, with a uh, to live together with a man. Wow, that, that's that's more deep. Okay, deeper. <laughs> yeah, <it's very> deep. <laughs> so, Mirna, it's a good idea to live with a man in the future. But she doesn't want to get married. Or, or a free union. Do you know what is that expression, free union? Yes. Yeah, okay, good. All right, all right, Luis. Oh, Luis, I remember. You are a motivational speaker, correct, Luis? Yes, teacher. All right, can you give the class an advice? You are the expert on this. 
Okay, and uh, my my advice about motivation class is it's very important to read a, a motivation book. Motivational book. Yeah. Like Coelho? No, no, Coelho is very, <laughs> very different, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, Coelho wrote uh, maybe a novel. Yeah, okay, so it's very important to read motivational books. Yeah. All right, or, good. Or, or audio, right? Listen to audio on the internet, on the internet. Okay, very good, all right. Marvin. Yes, teacher. You told the class that you work with children, correct? Yes, correct. All ages. All ages, yeah. What can you recommend us about children? Children in kids or, or teen, teenagers? Let's say children, kids. Okay. Um, is is very important for for you if you ha have a kids to pay attention in all that they do with the technologies. Uh, is positive um, because is. The way that they are learning uh, a lot of things that maybe is not good for for them. Okay, good. Yeah, thank you. So remember, <clears throat> it's very good to see to pay attention to the technology they are using. Correct? Yes. One thing I, I see also that is is very important not to lie to children. Right. Yes. Oh man, when I lie to my son, I really, I see that he really gets offended. Because like, before I tell him, and he actually ate, right? Okay, who ate the papa? I see you tomorrow, papa. And you know, like, I learned that not to lie to children because they really take everything serious. Yeah, good. All right. Ivania, are you there? Okay, that's the problem. You see, people that don't have cameras, I don't know if you're in class or not. So, uh, in South Fort, no ha dicho, not to. Um, there's Roxana. No sé si le mandaron. Hi, Roxana. No sé si le mandaron un memorando o algo así, pero. Thank you, Suima. Yes, sir, I am. Sobre la, las cámaras y todo. <laughs> Porque ese beneficio es saber para nosotros si están ahí o no. Entonces lo que no ha dicho en Sanford, pues no llamarlos. <laughs> ok, uh, Iva, eh, Roxana. Hi, Roxana. Hi, teacher. How are you? Pretty good, thanks. Rox Roxana, I'm okay. I'm hot. It's hot right now. Yes, a little hot here. Roxana, are you married? Um, no, I'm not married. I am single. You're single? Okay. Yeah, yeah, and I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> You're happy, okay. Do you have a boyfriend? Yeah. No, I don't have. But I would like, I would like to, to get married. But, All right. Okay, so that's... I don't know why, why I don't uh, get married yet. I don't know. <laughs> because don't look for it. It comes to you. Suddenly it comes to you. <laughs> I need to look for, for a man. <laughs> no, you know, I had a terrible, terrible, terrible relation with my ex-girlfriend. Her name was Claudia, right? And um, <laughs> Really? Yeah, and she worked in, in, in Taka. So... Um, I discovered later that she was very friendly with the pilots and and it, it was a terrible relation. So we finished. Oh. But her name was Claudia, so remember this. So 
I said, okay, I don't want anything in my life in this moment. I want to be single. So but do you like to, to get married? No, what happened is like when, when I day. finished, when I finished with my ex-girlfriend, Claudia, it was my birthday, like one month or two months later, it was my birthday. And my friend calls me, happy birthday, David, let's go and eat lunch. Okay, good. And my friend went with a girl, with her friend. And, and, I, and I saw her friend, wow, she's nice, but I don't want any relation. And when I asked her friend, hola, que tal? what is your name? Oh, Claudia. Oh, God. <laughs> you know, like her name was, I'm, oh, God. So I said, una señal, you know. But no, that woman is now my wife. So, so what I'm saying is, don't look for it. It comes to you. It appears to you. So <clears throat> who can give Roxana an advice about dating or about relations? <laughs> Help me to, to, to look for, uh, to, uh, I don't know what is the problem with me because uh, I know uh, uh, some, some women mm -hmm. that they uh, get a relationship easily. But it's not possible for me. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But I can give you a recommendation. It's not good to meet people in bars. Oh. <laughs> it's not. It's not good to meet people in, in bars. In, 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 in bars. So. In bars. In, in chupaderos. Oh, it's not good. No, it's not. Yeah. O sea, de entrada, ahí ya sabe que, oh, man. Mm. <laughs> that yeah. person has an alcohol problem. It's better to, to be a single in that case. Yeah, you know, sometimes it's better to be single, yes. Yeah. Yeah, all right. So that's how you give advice. It's not good to, it's good to, like, thank you, Marvin, also for your advice. You know, it's good to pay attention to children. All right. Remember, um, remember, like two months ago, it was not safe to walk in Soyapango. Yes. But now Soyapango is la más limpia de Centro América. Esa alcaldesa is crazy, man. Did you hear that? She said the safest city in in Central America. Come on, Ivania. Hi. Hi. Ivania, where do you work? Or do you work or study? I work. Where do you work? At Ministry of Hacienda. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, what, what do you do there? Or, okay, Ministry of Hacienda. Hi, huh, people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but now in the taxes department. <laughs> ah, okay. Le iba a pedir ahí yeah. un consejo. Como don't worry, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. I work at budgets department. Oh, okay. Yeah. But okay, but um, Ministerio de Hacienda, that's where it aún existe el need. Yeah, still. What? I don't understand. What el, is it? El, el need? Yeah. Is still active? Okay, uh, in Ministerio de Hacienda is where you get it, correct? Yes, yes. Um, uh, is the, um, there is a, I don't know how do you say it in English, homologación with the DUI? No, yeah, yeah. No, but what I'm saying is that is the Ministerio, like, let's say I lose my need, lo pierdo, okay, today. Yes. And you tomorrow, can get your needs, yes. Okay, so okay, but I can use my need or my license, correct? Or do we? Um, yeah, 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 legal, yes. Oh, okay, good. It really, I had a problem like one month ago. 
Why? Porque I, I, I forgot in what, but I was giving them my license and my Dewey had my need. And so no, it has to be the neat neat. Um, and, and, and lo, lo, yeah, I, I found it, pero. You can, you can get in the web page um, another, um, it's like a card. Okay. And it, it says, in need, but is your doing is your okay. number of the doing yeah okay but listen since you work in ministerio de uh, hacienda and i need yeah. to go to a ministerio de hacienda when is the best day to go monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday <laughs> um i don't know maybe um wednesday Wednesday, okay, but, but answer complete. So Wednesday is the best day to go. I think that, I don't know, is it the best? Uh, it depends because- Okay, okay, let's when, change. When is the worst day to go? Uh, okay, uh, the- um, Worst? The, that, that, the uh, worst? Uh, how do you say vencimiento? Uh, expire. The expire, IVA, or, or renta. Is the worst day to go? Yes, it's the worst Re day to go. Yes. Re yes. Repeat, please. It's the worst repeat. day to go. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Remember, that's what we're practicing today, the, the infinitives. So, yeah, okay, that's the worst day to go. It's like today. Yesterday, me, I was, I was with a blanket all day yesterday. I was very sick. And today, I am, in the morning, I was very sick. And I wanted to go to El Seguro, okay. but I remember that Monday is the worst day to go to El Seguro, right? Yes. You know, Maybe, I don't know. I I only uh, go to the Seguro like two or three times a year, maybe. Oh yeah, yeah. But I mean, the Monday is the worst day to go. Yeah. Everybody wants their incapacidad. <laughs> yeah. All right, good. Okay, so now we're going to do the gerund part. So let's no more to and the verb. Now we're going to use the verb with ing. So teacher, it's, teacher, sorry, it's difficult yes. for me to 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 look to to see the picture. It's small for me. Is it difficult for everybody? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. Uh, it's small. Oh wait, wait. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, it, no, we're not doing that yet. No, estamos haciendo eso. I'm sorry. No me he dado cuenta. Oh, because this? A teacher in that part is in the platform, but I, I entered in the platform um, three uh, hours ago and, and I, I don't have a, a course yet. What happens is that the platform, it always has problems. Um. And don't worry about oh, don't worry about the picture. That's why I prefer to do the talking part. Okay. I prefer to do the talking part. So. Okay. Uh, let's see. Now let's do um. Let's do the gerund. Okay. Nuri, I'm going to say two things. And you tell me in Jared, okay? Okay. Diazepam and Coca-Cola. <laughs> okay. You don't, you don't have drinking? Okay, so drinking diazepam with Coca-Cola. You don't have drinking, yes, pan. No, wait, wait. No, no me diga, you don't have to. Freak. O sea, dígame, drink. O sea, hey, el tomar o el mezclar, ya pan con Coca-Cola. 
malo. Okay, teacher. If you, if you. No, okay. Forget you, no, no diga directo. Solo, empieza de un solo with, ah, okay, with okay, the jar. Okay. Uh -huh. Drinking diazepam in Coca-Cola is bad for you. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. Well, usually with gerund, you start with the gerund. Okay. Uh, Marvin. Atol de lote with a frozen. Um, drinking atol de lote with frozen is not good for the stomach. For the stomach, yeah. <laughs> Very good. Hey, man, drinking frozen with atol de lote. It's not good. It's not a good idea. Or... That strange combination. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yes. I I didn't uh, 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 I uh, I didn't listen to about this this kind. No, no, I no, you, I don't think no, you invent. I, I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah, I'm inventing because I want I want to hear okay. the ideas. Mm -hmm. Oscar. Yes, did you? In El Salvador now drinking. Liquor, drinking, out, liquor, Alcohol. and driving. Driving, yes. Um, driving and drinking uh, liquor in El Salvador is not a good idea because you can be arrested. Ah, dangerous. Pero Oscar, ahí está dando un mal ejemplo. Why? Because oh. we we don't have to drink. If, if no, I... no, because listen to what you're saying. <laughs> Uh, drinking and driving is not a good idea. Okay, no bueno that because te pueden llevar preso. Mm -hmm. Actually, you will be arrested. In teoría, right? La ley. If, if, if the police catch me, but <laughs> yeah, if the police catch you. <laughs> but if not? Yeah, okay. So you can say now drinking and driving in El Salvador now is illegal. Bueno, siempre has yes, been illegal. Is. All right, good. Mirna. Hello, teacher. Hi. Pupusas and fork. Pupusa and? Fork. Fork. Uh, eating pupusas and fork is um, dangerous for your heart. Why? Pupusa de chicharrón, I think. No, I'm, I didn't say pork. I said <laughs> fork. Fork. I don't know what the meaning. Mini? Oh, yeah. Pork. There's a spoon for soup. Uh, and the fork is. Like Maruchan? Yeah. Uh, eating instant soups is. No. Pupusas. A lot of and fork, fork is tenedor. Ah, uh, yes. Eating pupusas with fork is not usual <laughs> in <Yeah>. El Salvador. <laughs> Very good. Eating pupusas with fork is not Salvadorian. Okay. <laughs> yes, eating pupusas with fork is not Salvadorian. Very good. Luis Molina, sopa de pata Sundays. Sunday. Mm. I'm, I'm thinking. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Okay, drinking uh, sopa de pata every Sunday is, is usually for all family in El Salvador. It's a tradition. Tradition. Yeah. Now, don't say I don't. I don't do it. Okay, maybe you don't, but like the tradition, or you know, maybe it's, it's sopa de pata. Yeah, it's very consistent. Drinking sopa de pata on the Sunday. 
and the business too, a little business is say sopa de pata around <clears throat> the, the community. Yeah. Okay, Roxana. Yeah. <laughs> smoking. Smoking. A smoking is uh, is bad for your lungs. Very Who good. Smoking is bad for your lungs. Very cancer. good. <laughs> okay, good. Wait, but in English, cancer? It's cancer. It's cancer. Mm -hmm. um. <clears throat> Miguel Franco. Yes, teacher. La bala. La, la bala. La, 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 la bala. The lyric. Uh -huh. No, the song. The song La bala. Okay, dancing or singing? I don't know. The, <laughs> okay. You tell me. Uh, the dancing, the song La bala is very popular. It's a, a popular song from the Sebastian of Flores. Okay, but listen to what you said. You, you said two things. Dancing, the song La Bala is a, is a popular song from Hermanos Flores. Yes. You, mm. Or maybe like dancing La Bala in Christmas is a tradition in El Salvador. Or La Bala oh, yes. is a popular song from Los Hermanos Flores. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah but very good. All right, class. Very good. You did it. All right, let's continue with the videos then. So let me see here. Number one. Pro, let me see. Miguel, number one, it says it's appropriate to talk about politics or at work or school. Listen to the instructions. Rewrite the sentences using infinitive or gerund phrases. Remember to use capital letters and periods. Uh, can you put the, 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 the screen on your... Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, for me, talking about polit politics at the world school is appropriate. So for you, it's good to talk about politics in school. Uh, for me, it's appropriate, but writing the, the sentences, I think, I think so is, is would be talking about politics at work or school is appropriate. Okay, are you sure? Uh, for me, no, it's appropriate, but I don't okay. know if we can you use the negative form here. Of course, yes. Okay. In this case, we will be talking about politics at, at Goro School. It's, in, it's not appropriate. So talking about politics at work or school is not. It's not appropriate, right? Okay, good. Nuri, number two. Uh, teacher, what does gestures means? Gestures means? Okay, that's a very good question. Now, now look, <laughs> let me give you a perfect example right now. Okay. In this moment, using Mara or Pandilla gestures, mm -hmm. it's illegal. Mm -hmm. What am I doing? Signs. 
sing now? <laughs> I'm not, not you, o sea, not you, but I'm estoy pensando en todos los que se me ocurren. <laughs> Gestos. Gestos. Este es un gesto, right? Remember? Uh. <laughs> yeah. Pero I hate. Ajá. Uh -huh. Oh, el, el salvadoreño. Um, ¿Dónde queda tal cosa? Hmm. <laughs> We point with our lips. All right. Okay, Nuri. <laughs> okay. Using, using certain history is implied in some foreign country. Mm -hmm. Uh, but um, from the get go, is the words the word using with ing. Mm -hmm. mm. No, I don't understand, teacher. Teacher. Yes. I don't understand what the what the instruction because it's uh, is the smallest is a little bit for me, but what is the well, what is the instruction for the sentence that you need to rewrite or only rewrite the sentence using infinitive or gerund phrases. Remember to use capital letters in the. Sabe que para mí eso está buena. Yes, mm -hmm. because you you start with using, with zero. Yeah, see, but what I don't know is, I'm sorry. Le voy a decir algo de entrada. El que hace esta plataforma ya estamos cansados cuando tenemos una reunión de tocar este tema. El que hace la plataforma solo la hace a veces con una respuesta en mente. Ya. Yeah. Y a veces hay más de una respuesta correcta. ¿Me entienden? Yeah. So, so don't yeah. worry. Y, no sé si la, la vez pasada tuvimos bastante problema en eso, porque para mí eso está bien. Estoy bien seguro que después lo va a tirar malo. Porque la persona que lo hizo <ríe> solo lo hace que no, tiene que ser así. Y no, esto está bien. Para mí está bien. Pero vamos a ver. It's important. Teacher, I think yes. it is good. It is good. For but, me, it's, it's correct. But, but in the instruction said that you can right. use, uh, yes, uh, you can use um, gerunds or infinitive. Yeah. yeah, it says rewrite the sentence using infinitive or gerunds. And so, so I don't uh, know. I don't know if the, if. Estoy bien seguro que esta persona quiso que lo hiciéramos a. a in gerunds. No, infinitive. Oh, infinitive. Only, only infinitive. For, you, for example, like this, I am, I am ready. Control. Here, let's I'm do ready. this. Okay. Show answers. Hmm. It's impolite to use in certain gesture. Oh, yeah, you see? It's impolite to use. Uh, you see, yeah. eso, 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 y esto me enoja mucho porque... Lo hubiera puesto aquí también en las instrucciones. Aquí. Uh -huh. O cambiarlo de infinito a, a Gerulio. Yeah. Pero uh, nunca cambia eso. So, number three. Asking someone's age is often considered rude. It's often considered rude to ask someone's age. Lo mismo pasó aquí. Darle vuelta. Que no está escrito en las instrucciones. Okay, so it's not unusual in the U.S. to address a professor by his name or first name. In the U.S., addressing a professor by his or first name isn't unusual. Do you know what is addressing? No. 
Okay, addressing is when you say, um, Uh, los jueces. <laughs> or or hey. maybe when you name a person, when you name a person with uh, her profession. Yes. Something uh, like that. Okay, le voy a dar una cosa. En Estados Unidos no es muy común esto. En Salvador es muy común. Aquí el ingeniero, el licenciado. Yes. O el don. So, uh, hey, no. Hey, ¿qué tal, Carlos? Buen, Benavides, ¿cómo estás? No, no. Address to Carlos Licenciado Carlos Benavides. ¿Qué dije? Profession? No. How do you address a teacher in El Salvador? A teacher. Don, profe, señor, hey, how do you address a teacher? Los que estudiaron cuando querían hablar con el profesor, ¿cómo le decían? Profe, licenciado, no, no, no. señor, el apellido o el primer nombre, ¿cómo se le dirige a un profesor acá? Profe. Profe. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. Profe, Maybe. Miss, Mr. Miss, Mr. Profe, yeah? Or Leek, whatever. Leak. In the uh, United States, it must Mr. Señor. Mr. or Miss. Yeah. Um, He notado que en, en las empresas, el jefe o los jefes, jefaturas, les gusta que les se, se dirijan a ellos como el ingeniero o el licenciado. A veces ya ni, nadie ni sabe el nombre, solo dicen el ingeniero va a venir hoy o el licenciado va a venir hoy. ¿Correct? De universidad. No, en your job, in, in the office. Uh -huh. Yes. Imagine, yeah. hey man, oh no, hoy viene el ingeniero. And maybe, o sea, it's, it's more popular to say el ingeniero que el nombre. <laughs> en El Salvador, mm -hmm. or no? Yes, it's the same. Yes, it's, it's the same. At the university, it's the same. It's okay, the same. good. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, okay, in El Salvador, we address to people by the title, por el título. Mm -hmm. Yes. Not by the name. Correct? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. All right. Uh-huh. And hay gente que ni sabe cómo se llama el ingeniero. So, I say, oh, my God, es el ingeniero. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, eso significa addressing. Mm -hmm. So, listen, in El Salvador, we address, we address professional people by the title, por su título. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we address professional people by the title. In the United States, we address people by the name. Okay, number five, it says, hugging friends when you greet them is customary in many cultures. In many cultures, it's customary to hug friends when you greet them. Or the mean it? Greet. <laughs> Greet is, okay, in El Salvador, when you greet somebody, you kiss. ¿Qué tal? Mm. Saludar, greet. Thank you. Por eso a veces termina greetings, saludos, greetings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, in El Salvador, it's customary to greet somebody shaking the hand or a kiss? Shaking a hand. No, the, yeah, the Both. two. Both. For men, shake mm -hmm. hands. For women, you kiss. Yeah. But, it, but I think it's more common a shaking hands. Uh, and some people with the high, I don't know, high level. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, oh, I don't know. How can I say when people is uh, de la clase alta? 
Hi level. Hi. Okay. Hi. The elite. <laughs> yeah. Hi, my. Okay, yeah. Okay, so it's about two. We shake hands or we kiss. Depends. But one thing. When you yeah. kiss, it's men and women. No, yeah. no same, no mismo sexo, same sex. Because it, Italians, Italians, they kiss. Men and men. But what happened when Johnny right? And in Turkey, I I mm. watch some some soap operas, mm -hmm. and the the men's uh, greet greet yes with kiss yeah uh, it's very in common here. yeah it's common mm -hmm. and it's about it's not common it's okay whoa yeah <laughs> <laughs> yes and I think in Italy. Men kiss the two for both, like mwah, mwah. the two cheeks. Yes. Yeah. So it, it's it's a custom. It's, it's... And in some countries, it's common three kiss, and they start with uh, when a specific chick. Oh. First. Okay. Oh, okay. I remember yeah. in, in 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 my English class I study about that, but I don't remember what is what is which in which country is Ru Russia, I think, or I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, but those are traditions, right? Yeah. <clears throat> yes. Okay, class. Well, thank you very much for today. We'll continue tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Thank you. Okay, teacher. Bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Have a Bye. good day. Bye. Bye. Bye.